Some of us see signs of destruction and recovery for others. I see trauma, I see hope. Others see art. Pieces like this one capturing the eye of the storm with tears, or this one. There's no words for it. A man pulling a wagon, trekking his way through Sanibel's post-storm muck to gather items from his home. All telling the story of Ian from a creative's perspective. And they're part of the Storm Stories display at the Alliance for the Arts in Fort Myers. That's Laura Bell. She is one of those artists. And while she's known for painting Florida scenes like this one, her Storm Story is a little different. She also works at the Sanibel Post Office. She's worked there for years, and she tells me when crews made it there after the storm, they found something in the dark and all of that muck. They said there was a huge gator by the postmaster's office. So Laura posted about the gator on Facebook. It went viral, and people online actually gave it a nickname, the Mailigator. In such a scary, dark, depressing, traumatic time, People found joy in this. I said, I need to do something good with this. So she did what many artists would do. She painted and she put her mailigator on t-shirts. She sold them and says she donated the money back to local businesses on Sanibel. I love how every artist can make beauty out of all of this. That beauty, she tells me, isn't just in the artwork itself, but the work's ability to capture and to connect. This is our reality right now and it's gonna be for a long time. Maybe one of these stories somebody will read and, and it'll, they're telling their story.